Today we're gonna give this power button a proper 3D look. So first of all, I'm making a duplicate by pressing Alt key so that we can compare it at the end. And this one also we don't need to work now, so I'm placing it here. And now from the toolbar, select this ellipse tool and here draw an ellipse. Now remove the fill color of the ellipse and keep outlines only. And drag this ellipse and place it perfectly. So I'm moving it by using arrow key in my keyboard. And let me drag it more from the top. I'd like to request to the new people who are watching for the first time, you can subscribe my channel and keep notification bell icon on so that you can get the latest updates whenever I upload a new video. Now it is perfect. So select them, take the shape builder tool, change the color and make a shape here. Now remove this and delete it. And remove the outline color of this shape. Select the top object and give some offset here. So here give negative value so that we can make some shape here. By using arrow key, take it upward and change the color to black so that it can be more easily visible. Now here also give offset. So this time also give negative offset. Change the color. So now select this green object and give uh, offset once again. And here also give negative value. And change the color. Now fix the shape perfectly. Drag the shape little bit more from the top and uh, place it perfectly by using arrow key. Now it is perfect. Now select both by pressing shift key and from here do minus front. Now select the black object by pressing alt key make duplicate. Change the color, rotate the shape and place it perfectly. Select both and by using shape builder tool make a shape here. Now drag it and place it here. So here also we'll make one more shape. Now select the middle object and delete it. Now select this one and drag it and make duplicate. So select this one and this one by pressing shift key, take shape builder tool, change the color and make a shape here. And select this one and delete it. Now take ellipse tool once again and here draw an ellipse. Remove the fill color and keep outlines only. And drag it and place it perfectly. Now select both the down object, take shape builder tool, change the color and make a shape here. And remove this one, delete it. Select this, do copy and paste. Remove the fill color, keep outlines. Change the outline color. Now take a uh, scissor tool. and cut it into two point and remove the 
top portion. Now increase the stroke and change the width profile and expand it. Now here draw a small circle, change the color of this small circle. Now it is perfect. Now select both the shape by pressing shift key and take blend tool and drag the blend tool over this and we got uh, this effect now lock it after locking select the down object and do right click and take it front this one also take it to the front now change the color so here i am applying this gradient color so in gradient color you can change the color combination can reduce the opacity so that it can perfectly matching and transfer this gradient color so here also apply gradient and now here also apply new gradient color now in gradient color do some combination changes now transfer the same gradient color and here also fix it and here also apply gradient color so this way apply gradient color to all the objects and fix the gradient color like this apply more dark color to the down object and here also fix it so now it is looking more better than previous let's make duplicate of this paste in place remove the fill color keep outlines only change the outline color take scissor tool and cut in two two place now press delete increase the stroke change the width profile and expand it so change the color and here by using pen tool draw a shape and uh, apply gradient color to this new shape Now place this object at the top, do right click, arrange and bring to the front. And here let's apply the effect, drop shadow. So let's control this drop shadow here. And change the color to red. now you can see the differences between uh, the initial and the final product now let's 
give a background here let's change the background color and send it to back so hope you like this tutorial if you do not subscribe my channel then subscribe it and thank you for watching